In this video I demonstrate the use of the list dictionary collection and I recommend if you haven't already to take a look at uh, video 2030 on the intro to collections for more information about this collection and all the collections that implement the iDictionary interface. If you recall from the introductory video we talked about how uh, the list dictionary and the hash table are different in their implementations but very similar on the surface that if you had a lot of items to put in a collection that you'd probably be better off using the hash table because the hash table sets up a series of buckets this big infrastructure uh, that allows it to find items in large lists very easily but if you didn't have a lot of items you should probably scale down to the li list dictionary item because it uses a list uh, uh, a linked list approach to sorting through the data so that when you're looking for a specific item in the collection you could specify it and it, it may start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 but it'll find it fairly quickly when your list grows beyond 10 items however uh, you're better off using the hash table at least that's what Microsoft recommends so I've created a console application called list dictionary VB and the very first thing you might notice is as I go to create an instance of the list dictionary that I create a new system collections specialized list dictionary so list dictionary is not in the system.collections namespace it's actually in another namespace called specialized we haven't really talked about this but all the other uh, collections that we've used uh, we didn't have to specify system.collections uh, that seems to be because by default, Visual Basic assumes that we'll use the system.collections within our application along with some of the more common uh, system.whatever namespaces. But in this case, we have to define the specialized namespace so that we can get to the list dictionary. And I've created uh, basically five car objects based on our uh, car class that I've copied over to our project, and I've added each one of them to our col uh, list dictionary collection. Now, something that's unique about iDictionary um, collections is that you get a collection of keys and values. And so what I've done is uh, done a loop through each of the keys and each of the values. These keys and values are returned back as iCollection typed uh, collections so that we can use this for each. Uh, but I've tried to save off cars.keys and just about everything including array, array list, and uh, I would have had to cast it to that specific type. So this just seemed easier, just a for each key and, and cars.key and then write out whatever the key was and then whatever the values were. So I do that and then also I access a specific item within our list dictionary by passing in not the numeric uh, ordinal value but rather the key name so in this case we're going to pass in prism and see what we get back and write out the prism's properties let's go ahead and save this and build it then I bring up my console window and typed in list dictionary VB and to run it and whoops I've got a problem and the problem was is that I have two items with the exact same key to be added to my collection. So let's back up and let's take a look at what we have here and notice that we're using the model to add to our collections and the only thing that differentiates these two Cutlass Supremes are the years. So these two are not unique and we can't add them to our list dictionary. So what I'll need to do is add on that this was a brome model and then we will try it again let's go and build our solution and then let's bring up our window again and hit F3 and here we go so notice that we loop through all the keys and this time that the Cutlass Supreme is different than the Cutlass Supreme brome and then I look, look through all the values so I get back each of the objects uh, that are placed into uh, our collection each of the car objects and just print out all the properties of them and finally I access the value via its key I said give me uh, the value 
where the key is prism and it returned back the object that had geo prism 1995 So that's pretty much it for the list dictionary. It's a lightweight um, collection that allows you to use just a few objects if, if you don't need the, uh, the cumbersome weight and the performance benefits of the hash table.